Well, the Senate voted to kick out Mr. Ferdinand Waititu as Kiambu County Governor in a motion that had all the hallmarks of President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto's duel. There was a total of 38 senators in the House on Wednesday. Some 28 senators, most of them from the opposition coalition NASA, convinced, convicted the governor on all the three counts leveled against him by the county assembly and voted to remove him from office. The Assembly of Kiambu approved a motion to remove from office by impeachment the Honorable Fana Dindungu Waititu Babayao, the Governor of Kiambu County. And further, were asked by letter dated 20 September 2019, reference CAK stroke 1 stroke 19 10 24, received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on 23rd December 2019, the Speaker of the County Assembly of Kiambu informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of the motion by the county assembly and further forwarded to the, to the speaker of the senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the assembly and whereas pursuant to article 181 of the constitution section 33 of the county government act 2012 and standing order number 75 the senate had the county assembly on the grounds of removal from office by impeachment of the governor and further whereas pursuant to article 181 of the constitution section 33 of the county government act 2012 and standing order number 75, the Senate also had the governor of Kiambu County on the grounds of removal from office by impeachment of the governor. Now, therefore, pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33 of County Government Act 2012 and standing order number 75, the Senate resolves to remove from office by impeachment the Honorable Ferdinand Dungwai Titu Babayao the governor of Kiambu County on the following charges, namely, one, gross violation of the Constitution of Kenya, 2010, the County Government Act, 2012, and Public Finance Management Act, 2012, and the Public Procurement and Disposal Act, 205. Two, crimes under the national law, and three, abuse of office, uh, stock, uh, gross misconduct. Honorable Senators, we... Well, let's stick to that story now and take you live to Kiambu County, where James Nyoro, the deputy governor, will soon be the new Kiambu governor after the swearing-in ceremony. Our reporter, Mark Lamaswa, is in Kiambu for us for the very latest. Mark, good afternoon. James Nyoro is said to become the third governor of Kiambu County at some point in the day. Talk to us about the situation on the ground uh, in the wake of various uh, reactions, some saying this is not anchored in the law. Yeah, now after waiting since 8 a.m. this morning, the atmosphere has changed towards 1 p.m. with the entry of vehicles that are said to belong to the solic Solicitor General's office. And the mood here has changed. You can see people have been dancing, the music has been turned up, and people are ecstatic. They hope that something significant is going to happen, that what they have been waiting for since early morning will finally take place today. Because we've told that uh, the ceiling for this function is at 2 p.m. and it's now uh, heading to 1 or 5 p.m. Now let's talk to Udhiru MCA. Uh, kindly, what has happened? Uh, uh, generally, it has been now, uh, the crowd has gone into a frenzy. Uh, you know, there has been that hitch of the judge, and we've been all been waiting since morning. And uh, the, the, when, when the cars came in, I think everybody went into a frenzy uh, with the happiness because the moment that we've been waiting for is here now. I understand it's the Solicitor General, and uh, he's going to get the judge. So I'm sure in a very, in, in a in few minutes' time, we'll be going down to business. At some point, MCS disappeared to the boardroom. What were you doing there? No, we were just getting a brief of what is happening, and uh, that is when we learned that uh, there was a delay because the judge who was supposed to preside the event had not been uh, put in the Kenya Gazette. And I think that is what they were taking care of, and I think now we are good to go. Now, if, if you've gone online, there is a debate between uh, Senators uh, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. and uh, Murkomen. Uh, about uh, the number of days that have to pass after impeachment and when you go to the swearing in. I, I don't know if you have looked at that. Well, I have not noted that. Uh, I, I understand it should be within. Should it be within 14 days or after 14 uh, after 10 days? 
Yeah, but I think we are still in the limit. We don't want to waste any time. I think we have suffered as the people of Kiambu, and we want to start afresh today. We don't want to wait any longer, and I'm sure the people of Kiambu also don't want to wait a minute longer. We want to finish this business, be done with, and start do giving service delivery to the people of Kiambu. Security has been very tight at the gate. I don't know whom you have been trying to lock out. Is it uh, Waititu supporters? And what are the numbers of MCS that are inside this uh, compound at the moment? Well, uh, the number of MCS, as you can see, they are the ones who are singing here. There are almost 70 MCS around, and, are, and, I, and I understand the security has to be tight. You understand now we are dealing with an incoming governor. So the security has to be tight. I, I Even me, myself, I had to be screened before I got in here. So it's not a matter of anyone being locked out. I think it's just a matter of protocol and security to ensure that everything goes well in this event. How did numbers used to play out in the county assembly, those for Waititu and those for Nyoro? Well, uh, I think Waititu's side had around, 20, around 25 MCS, uh, but our side, we were way over 65. Actually, the voting was 63, but there are some two members who are not around. So I think the numbers were, we were, we were way past the threshold of three quarters or of two thirds. And uh, Waititu was left with merely a small quarter, to, uh, a small third uh, to, to, to enjoy. Now, is this dancing a sure sign that we will have the ceremony or it's just a preamble? Well, it's a preamble, but uh, by seeing the way things are moving now and after the brief, we are sure that the ceremony is there. We, are, we acknowledge that the, we are almost uh, short of time. We are only 50 minutes to go, but we are sure now that things are going to move on. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that's one of the MCS, uh, MCA for Uviru explaining to us the interests that have been playing out here at the Kiambu County headquarters. And for now, it's the dancing. Back to you. Many thanks. It is uh, Mark Namaswa live for us from uh, Kiambu there where the Deputy Governor James